Hey, what's up everybody? Quick video update here to show you a color control application that was recently released on XDA called KCAL. Now this application is going to give anyone with the latest Qualcomm chipsets the advanced user access to RGB saturation, contrast, and other advanced display settings so long as you are using a custom kernel. You will have to install this application manually, so you're going to navigate to your security settings and enable that unknown resources toggle and make sure you do have root access in order to grant this application the super user permissions. Now once you open up KCAL, you are going to notice your toggles and sliders and a reference picture in order to help you with the color adjustments. You are going to have an invert display toggle as well as a grayscale toggle. Now I know a lot of you are thinking, how is grayscale going to be useful? But if you think about Samsung Ultra Power Saving Mode, you may also be able to use this kind of is in reference to extend your battery life in some certain situations. Now with those RGB sliders, you can obviously change your color control temperatures and profiles, but if you find the need to start over, there is actually a restore button located at the bottom of the application. You can also adjust your saturation, the value and contrast settings. With the reference picture provided, this is a very simple process. It's also worth noting that the restore feature will use default values until your first profile is saved. So once you have a profile, it will then in fact restore the previous saved profile. This will help prevent from losing any settings to accidental swipes or mistakes during adjustments. Now the factory default on the Nexus 6 is a little bit on the warm side, and I know a lot of you have been asking me about my personal setup configurations, and I tend to like to keep mine on the cooler side. So I will include all of the settings in the description below as well provide them in the video so you guys can check them out and see if you like them. Starting with the RGB settings, I have my red valued at 230. The green is set at 222 and the blue is at 253. Then change the saturation to 40, the value to 135 and contrast to 120. Once you have finished, go ahead and save the profile and toggle the set on boot located at the top of the application to keep your changes through a reboot process. Anyway guys, that pretty much sums this up. It's a very simple and useful color control application. Feel free to tinker with it. Definitely provide me with any feedback and let me know what you guys end up with in your settings. And I hope you enjoyed this video and found this information useful. You can definitely punch that like button to show me some love and you may want to subscribe to my YouTube channel as I have more helpful videos like this coming your way in the future. And as always, I will catch you guys in the next one.